We're about an hour away now from the launch window opening for Artemis 1. The launch will bring a new era in American space exploration. Take a look. Although this morning's launch won't have a crew, these astronauts here are ready to go into space. In the next launch, our Taisha Walker live for us from the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral with the latest on the mission. Good morning, Taisha. Lisa, good morning to you. Right now, NASA working through a number of kinks. We know that there is a potential crack in the core stage. There was a fuel leak earlier this morning, and they're currently working on a bleed to the third of four engines. Uh, those are some potential factors, along with weather, that could potentially delay or even cancel today's launch. This morning, NASA could take another giant leap toward deep lunar exploration. We are excited. The vehicle is going to be ready. It's ready right now. Looks great uh, to proceed with this uh, inaugural launch of the uh, the Artemis program. That's if the weather or technology doesn't get in the way of this morning's launch. Lightning strikes hit the launch pad Saturday, but did not damage the rocket itself. Artemis is looking to pick up where her twin Greek god brother Apollo left off 50 years ago. The uncrewed Orion spacecraft sits upon top of the world's most powerful rocket, which will travel 1.3 million miles during its 42 day orbit around the Earth and Moon. The test flight will collect data that will help NASA send a crew to the moon in 2024 and create a gateway to Mars. The next human boots are going to be a woman and a, and a person of color on the moon and that inspiration to provide um, you know, diversity in this type of environment really, really goes a long way and I think is worth every penny of the investment. And NASA just tweeting just a few seconds ago that the countdown clock is on a hold at T minus 40 minutes. If we could just pan over uh, just a little bit with that camera so that you could see that the countdown clock is not moving. They say that the hydrogen team of the NASA SLS rocket is discussing plans with the Artemis One launch director and that operational commentary will continue on uh, their live stream. So again, right now that count countdown clock is on hold at uh, negative 40 minutes, T minus 40 minutes. Don't know what this means for the launch, but we'll continue to follow those updates and bring you on at seven o'clock. For now, reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC, 2 News. Okay, we'll yeah. continue to, to watch and follow your updates. Taisha Thank Walker, you. live from Cape Canaveral. Thank you. We're going to check back in with her uh, just before our 7 a.m. hour, and she will be live uh, in our KPRC 2 Plus broadcast as well, um, our online streaming version. You can watch us on clicktohouston.com or on our KPRC2 News app.